is Sun Podcast today. Yesterday I tattooed. I've been working on my man Dennis's uh, sleeve. It's well, a few months now. We went on a bike ride yesterday. We got another flat tire. Yesterday we went and we got the Gator Skin tire put on. Hopefully, no flats today because this shit is mad annoying. And people are like, oh, Teddy, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, you gotta do this, you gotta. And I do it every time. Every single time I check the tire, there's a new piece of glass, a new piece of road shrapnel, a new alien invasion, like whatever. Like Twitter, every time you turn the shit on, some new bullshit going on. That's my bike right now, the tire. But hopefully today, no new bullshit. No bullshit. No bullshit at all. A bullshit free bicycle ride. Lamar, Lamar, come here. Come on, we gotta go to the doctor. We gotta go check this leg out. Come on. Any help coming down, Dees? Come on. Hey, get that ball. Ah, no. What are you doing? We gotta go. I'm gonna get you looked at, baby boy. That little peg leg ain't gonna cut it, son. Just a rabbit. Easter Rabbit. Don't try to distract from the fact that we need to go to the vet, sir. Hey. Don't have that stuff. You can run and hide, Omar. But we're going to the doctor. Actually, he can't run right now. He can't. Well, he tries. You just gotta get you checked out, sir. I'm gonna make sure nothing's wrong. We're gonna go check it. I'm sorry. I don't know if I updated the vlog yesterday, but Omar has a slightly torn, basically ACL. It's a CCL, but and some fluid in his knee. We don't really know how it happened, but we have to avoid any real walking or exercise or playing or any weight on that foot, leg, basically at all, so that he doesn't need to have surgery. So this is where we are. And right now, we're basically carrying him from upstairs to downstairs when we go to bed. And we've been hanging out here all day yesterday, huh? Where we're gonna have to figure out how to keep him from playing. Because he doesn't seem to realize that he's really hurt, but he is. Maybe drop a few pounds. Maybe go see a chiropractor. The rabbits are going crazy. Alex! I hear that! Anyway. We're looking at some maybe diet changes. Possibly dog chiropractor. Possibly doggy acupuncture. Don't avoid the camera. It's not for shame, dude. It's okay. All superstars get hurt. All superstars get hurt, dude. It's okay. Nothing to be embarrassed about. We're gonna get you fixed up. We can get you fixed up. Also, a lot of people ask about Omar's nose. I've tried all kinds of things on his nose. It is not working. None of it. I'm gonna try some new stuff today. But all vets basically say the same thing. Uh, yeah. It's not working. You know. You know. You're really playing it up. Play some sad music behind us. All right, so Omar is pretty out of it. He's on uh, he's on all kinds of stuff. He's on a couple of different pills anti-inflammatory and something to sedate him a little bit uh, so that he won't run around and make this worse. A lot of folks are gonna suggest surgery, but bulldogs and surgery is not comfortable for me. Uh, I don't like it, so we're gonna do our best to avoid it. He's not overweight, but it will help with this if he drops a couple of pounds. Just like me, he is now <laughs> going on a diet. Well, not necessarily a diet, but we're gonna make sure, you know, we're gonna make sure he's not eating overeating. We're definitely gonna cut back his food because he's not gonna be doing as much activity. I'm also looking into 
dog aquatic center, like literally right up the road. So I might try to get him over there for a couple of sessions of swimming because this might, everything I'm reading might help uh, strengthen up his leg. Also glucosamine seems like a good idea. So we're gonna do glucosamine. CBD maybe for pain once he's not on all these other pain pills, but right now he's on so much other stuff that I don't think that it's needed. Really the main thing right now is just trying to avoid surgery. So, uh, it's gonna be tough, but it's also, you know, it is gonna, I make popcorn. It is tough. It's gonna be a lot of extra work, but I guess with, this is smart pop popcorn. We're gonna go to the gym here in a little bit. We're just waiting on Alex to get back because we can't both leave because we don't know what Omar will do. And he can't jump up or off anything because that will fuck his shit up. So, I'm gonna eat some popcorn. I'm gonna do some more research. This uh, situation with Omar, it reminds me as stressful as this is, it is rem as stressful as this is, it is reminding me to uh, appreciate the things that I have. So, you know, really, I guess it is frustrating because it is now going to take a lot of time and energy away from uh, me and the shit that I have to do. But it is a reminder to like pay attention to my dog and make sure he's okay and nurture him and hang out with him you know, while he's here. And I am going to just take the time to just try to rehabilitate him myself. You know, like try to make his leg stronger so he doesn't have to have surgery, but also no future problem. Very much reminded of how fortunate I am to even have a bulldog. I just wanna make sure that he gets like the best, like absolute best options for him and care that he could possibly get. So that's really like my mission now. Like, you know, obviously I have all my work that I have to do, but I also now just need to make sure that um, I'm being attentive to Omar, which is good because that's not like I don't waste time doing stuff. So if, if I tweet less or something like that, it's probably because I'm just taking care of my dog. That is what it is. It's probably good. It is good. It's good. It's good to stop being distracted by dumb shit. Pay attention to the shit that actually matters to me. And my dog is absolutely like, you know, top tier of those things. I'm gonna eat this popcorn, rest, hang out with him, and uh, go to the gym. No bike ride today. I took today off. A little rest day on the bike. I haven't rested my legs in a while, like a week. These things are also ridiculous. And you can bake them and make chips and use guacamole. They're amazing. Shit's really good. Really, I mean, Greg Doucette has changed the game for me as far as uh, just being able to eat regular ass food and not feeling like, I don't know, I'm on some stupid goofy diet where people are like, oh, can you, ha can you eat this? Can you have that? You know, it's like I can really have whatever I want as long as I make it. And if I go out, I just gotta know what I'm eating. I'm on front. Yesterday was fairly eventful. King Kong print is ready. And I didn't even go pick that up because it was so ridiculous just trying to keep Omar from moving around. Going around my bike, it's a little later than normal, but the, the weather has gotten a lot nicer so I can go like pretty much whenever I want. But here's what's going on today in the world of shit is always going on in my life. I walk out here and I see water yesterday. They just turned off the sprinkler. All right, water yesterday. It's still here. It's everywhere. I'm trying to figure out where it came from. Look at their back fucking yard, dog. Look, like flooded with water. And has now flooded all of this <laughs> with water. This was all yesterday. This was filled straight up. Pretty sure them flowers weren't even there. They fucking grew because there was so much water. Omar's doing okay. Like now he's on pain pills and anti-inflammatory. So now he thinks he can do whatever. So really it's me keeping the dog from doing anything and uh, him not knowing why the fuck I'm doing that. I don't know how far we're gonna go. We're just gonna go. I haven't been bringing the GoPro because it's annoying to attach to my bike to be honest. You know, it's a lot of grams to be carrying around. I don't know. I don't think I need it on the bike. It's too much, sometimes. The 215 trail, the nature to neon. I'm on it. It's really weird. Cross so much traffic. No way you're getting speed, but it's really nice. The bike trail is questionable in some areas. Like three seconds later, we're to the end of a trail that is closed. It does look like it keeps going, but they've closed this up. 
could possibly go around. <laughs> ready for the party? You ready? Come on, future. Eat that up. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Whole thing. Good job, Omar. Look at you. You get one by default. Just for it being here. So, Omar is situated. He's drugged up. The worst part about this. But it's for his own good, you know? It's tough love, I guess. So I'm gonna go check out the print. I'm gonna drive down there, check it out. Carry forward with the King Kong Drizop. All right. Ugh. Let's get out of here. Bruh. We're shipping. I'm looking for my other sock so I can go to the gym. Omar, still on bed rest. It's gonna be this way for a long time. Not happy about it. All glucosamined up. Next round of pills in a few hours. Confined to his bed. This print came in. It actually looks really fucking good. I mean, dude, it looks really good. I'm gonna give you some light because I'm not really giving you a good light. But yes, the print is looking pretty nice. We're just waiting on the digital copy. Other, I have to draw the front of the shirt, which I'm going to draw probably tonight and then i have i think a second shirt to go with this theme to keep a theme going and then yeah the kong drop will be going up and then other than that man like i'm super focused on omar this is definitely it's not serious yet but it's serious because i don't want it to get serious my entire existence right now is monitoring him basically and keeping him from jumping on things gonna take a little bit and as also as some of you may or may not know, I have, uh, Jay is getting out of prison soon. Jay is getting out. For those of you who don't know, I've been paying and supporting my friend who's been in prison for seven years. You guys have been here for like four years of it. I'm looking for something to put a goddamn camera on. He gets out soon. I have had to try to petition to get him released here, which is me contacting like a lot of people. It's really not that simple. It's really, they don't make it that easy. They don't get back to you. They're not helpful. They're not really that nice. And um, yeah, it's like a lot of my time right now is is that. So, uh, and then tattooing. The weather out here has been so fucking perfect, dog. We're getting like these 70, 75 degree mornings. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. And we've got no flat tires. There's a gator skin on there. The gator skin's holding up. I don't know if I love the gator skin. So I may switch because <laughs> silliness, but yay. Hey. Biking is like a relationship, you know? It's like a, a real, real bond. Man, at home. Shower time, or I just took a shower. Food time. I was definitely, I'm fucking starving. I don't know. The rest of the Metagod Megagon prints dropped and they're all being mailed the second bag. Thank you, everybody. There's still some socks left, and once these socks are gone, they're gone. There'll probably be a different sock one day when they're gone. They're not gone yet. They're gonna be gone. All right, fucking breakfast. What are you gonna want? I have no idea. I gotta think about this. Probably an hour, I haven't cooked anything, because I don't know what I want, but uh, now I'm eating peas. Day four, Omar has grown bored, but remains on his island for most of the day. Whenever you can get him to obsess over this, it's good, it's good. I don't know if it's like good, I don't know if it's a good thing that he does it, but it's nice that he just lays here. It's nice that he has laying activities. I really think he needs to, we need to find, look into swimming. He could be like an Olympic champion, like Michael Phelps. He's got a Michael Phelps physique. We got sprouts. I watched a YouTube video about sprouts, so I bought this sprout system. And all these different <laughs> sprouts we got. We got Wisdom Blend. That one's definitely going in. These are Alex's cookies. Wisdom Blend. Let's see. Salad mix. I'll yeah, we'll go with a little salad mix. And yeah. ooh, these are pretty interesting. Rainbow bean mix. These are our three. So basically all you do, half a cup to a cup of sprouts in this jar, double the amount of, how do you say this? Double the amount of sprouts with water. So if it's one cup of sprouts, two cups of water. Two parts water, one part sprout. You let it sit vertically like this for 12, eight to 12 hours. Then you drain it of the water down the sink. Then we put it on here so it can drain the rest of the way and then sprouts form and we get to eat those sprouts. That is pretty crazy. Alex, what? we'll be able to feed the entire neighborhood. Good morning. 
we are headed out for the, I don't know, I think we only took one day off so far this week, so this must be the fourth bike ride of the week. Um, it's been a, a crazy fucking week, man. Like, I haven't really been able to get much done. Life is a little annoying. Uh, it's mostly just the Omar stuff. We also are like in like the weirdest time for trying to not consume bullshit. So obviously the election bullshit is going on, which is just like maddening and you can't, I mean, I really feel like I'm getting to this point where it's harder and harder and harder to be on the internet in like a regular fashion. I used to be able to just go in and get out without like anything sticking to me, but now stuff's starting to stick because it's just so crazy. You see so much stupidity that your brain automatically is like, let me comment. I don't want to waste my time. I still do, but I don't want to. So I'm trying to curb that as much as possible by finding other things to do, like bike riding, weightlifting, cooking, not really cleaning, but Alex does that as much as she can, even though I'm impossible to keep up with. So bike ride this morning, I have a Swirly Dragon tattoo this afternoon at 10 a.m. and then the rest of the day is actually editing and finishing up the King Kong. I've been wrestling with these people to get the scan. They finally got me the scan. And the digital cop that is just a bunch of shit this week this week has been a total total shit show definitely a shit show we're chilling we're still here it's just uh been a little frustrating we're going on this bike ride come back see what's up ignore the bullshit stay above the haters stay above the drama you know what i'm saying that's what you gotta do you gotta go out there and do your shit fuck all right else's shit yo shit i'm also mad sore in my back i have i did deadlifts yesterday or two days ago Two days ago? Yeah, two days. And deadlift son has been like, it's been some years. My back hurts. Tattoos done, sprouts are done. We gotta go pick up weed. Cause we have found, basically my customer uh, Dennis put me onto everything, but we found out that Planet 13 has a drive through basically through the back. So you don't even have to go in anymore to the bullshit. Planet 13 is the dispensary here that has a humongous spinning globe outside that uh, fucking, it's like an amusement park, but for weed. And if you're a tourist, it's probably great, but I'm not super into uh, even going to the dispensary. So they do have deals for locals. So we're getting like pretty good prices for the best stuff you can get here, even though the best stuff you can get here still ain't that great. Yeah. We ain't gonna complain. No we'll stop. The MPX isn't bad. MPX. That AMA though. AMA, AMA not so hot. MPX, hot boys. I just ate a sandwich. Then I'm going to the gym and then edit this motherfucking vlog. So we're doing. We're leaving Omar for the first time alone. We gotta put him upstairs. Pray for daddy. And find, yeah, pray for me. I'm gonna lose my mind. I gotta put you upstairs here soon, Bubba. I get buff just carrying you up and down the stairs. It's okay, buddy. We're on day five. Only uh, seven more weeks to go. All right, we got back from Planet 13. It took forever. The drive through guy wasn't really making any sense, but. Uh, yeah, this, in my opinion, so far, the best wax in Colorado, or in fucking Nevada, Las Vegas, is this MPX stuff. The other big brand is AMA. This is AMA. Anyone who smokes wax out there knows that this, I mean, come on, this is some fucking, like, this is live resin, too. This is not, uh... God damn, I can't even open the fuck. Not the worst, but also not the best. Sorry for the bad plug, AMA, but... We're honest over here. They have these like pretty good sales. Otherwise it's way too expensive. Orange daiquiri, pilato, orange gelato cake. And today's special was all of these. We basically just wait for the specials and go buy a few. And you can only get three and a half grams per person here. It's also super whack. Pie mixtape. Mixtape is big out here. Every time, I've never even heard of it. You can hear mixtape. You heard my mixtape. Uh, orange daiquiri. We got a lot of the same stuff like that. Yeah, orange gelato. So we'll open this orange gelato. We'll smoke this. That's a lot better. It's still not amazing. Like, I mean, this specific strain is not going to blow your mind, but that's a lot better. And this is 25 a gram, which is fucking pretty cheap. 25 a gram. I mean, that's pretty good. Even when I'm getting hooked up, hooked up, it's like $14 a gram. I guess I've gotten it for 11 but anyway, smoke this up. What's going on? I'm over here about to edit. I need a little wow. 
Yeah. Need a little update on How things. How much update do you want? Do you want a I want a car? quick update. Usagi's going to a new home. Yeah. Why is Usagi going to a new home? Because the rabbits want to kill each other. Oh, okay. And they have successfully given each other matching scars on their ears. This is the beginning of a fucking Japanese samurai story. Two rabbits. <gasps> I should send both... Usagi Ujimbo with her. No, you are not. <laughs> send that fucking rabbit out of this house. <laughs> Who was right about the rabbits? You, I had good intentions. Well, and good intentions is not what we're talking about. Who's right? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking rabbits. Oh.